It's Ro, welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. One of my favorite times of year is right around the corner. It is Pie Pie Day, next week on Monday. So I am so excited. We are gonna be making a Pie Pie recipe today. For those of you who weren't familiar, Pie Pie Day is every year on March 14th for 3.14, which is the first three numbers of pi. Pi goes for a very long time. It is the ratio of a circle's circumference by the diameter, and it goes on and on and on. And I used to memorize the digits. I would try to memorize the decimal points of pi. I can't do it as good as I used to. I definitely can get out nerd in this category, but all I got right now is 8779997 Oh, see I'm losing it. So to celebrate Pie Day this year, we're going to be making cute little fun size bite pies. Let's get started. To make these yummy pies, we're going to be using a lot of ingredients. We're going to be making a homemade crust and a raspberry filling. So the things you'll need for the crust will be two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, half a cup of butter flavored shortening, half a cup of salted butter, six tablespoons of buttermilk, two tablespoons of sugar, half of vanilla bean, and one teaspoon of salt. And then for the raspberry pie filling, my favorite, yum, 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 yum. Four cups of fresh raspberries, six tablespoons of sugar, one and three fourths ounce of powdered pectin, one tablespoon of lemon juice. Then the tools that we're gonna be using, I have a three and a quarter inch round cookie cutter. It's almost 3.14, it's just 3.25. Aw, it's similar. A potato masher, a cute little pie cookie cutter. This is the pie symbol. Last but not least, a mini tart pan. If you don't have one of these at home, you can probably just use a little cupcake tray. That's okay too. All right, now let's put it on together. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make our crust. In this mixing bowl, we are gonna combine our dry ingredients. We've got our flour, our salt, and sugar. And then we are gonna add our vanilla bean right over here. Over here, I've got a little cutting mat, and I've just cut the vanilla bean down the middle, and you can see all the little, these are little black seeds right here. That's the vanilla bean seeds. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna scrape them out. Oh, that smells so good, you guys. Oh yeah, and we're just gonna put in our dry ingredients. Get in there, little vanilla beans. Leave no vanilla bean behind. You don't want to because buying vanilla beans is a little bit expensive, so what you can do is with the leftover pod, instead of just tossing it, you can save it later to make pudding. Now you can just use your hands, give your dry ingredients a little toss, here we go. All right, now we're gonna add our butter and the shortening. We're gonna mix the butter into the flour together until you can't see any more butter chunks. Lastly, we're gonna add in our buttermilk, and we're gonna keep mixing until it's all combined. It might be a little bit dry, but that's okay. Once it's mixed in, you're gonna try to form a big ball with your dough, here we go. Now we've made our pie crust, and it's time to chill it. We're gonna wrap it in plastic wrap. Ooh, squeaky squeaky. I like to pack it down just a little bit, and then wrap it up tight. Then we're gonna pop this in the fridge for about two hours or overnight, whatever you'd like. You just wanna make sure that the crust has completely chilled. While our crust is chilling in the fridge, we are gonna make our raspberry pie filling. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> I have been eating a lot of raspberries lately. I've been putting them in oatmeal, making jams, and now pies. I'm so excited. So what you're gonna do before we head over to the stove is in a medium little saucepan, we're gonna pour in all of our raspberries. Do, 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 do. Oh, one escaped. That one's for me. And then we're gonna add our sugar and our lemon juice. Now you're gonna take your potato masher and we're gonna mash up some raspberries. Just gonna mash it. Oh, one more for me. Are you okay? Now we're gonna take our pie filling mixture over to the stove and our pectin. For those of you who don't know, pectin helps thicken up more watery fruits. Turn your stove to medium high heat. Once the raspberry mixture comes to a boil, add the pectin and continue to boil. Make sure to stir frequently and allow to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then remove the jam from the heat and bring it back over to your baking station. 
We just took the pot off the stove. Be careful because it is still super hot. And now we are gonna strain it to get out all of the seeds. So pick up your pot and be very careful. Slowly pour it. Slow and steady. Oh, this smells so good. Now I'm just gonna take a spoon or you can use your spatula and help push the liquid through. Now we're gonna take a raspberry pie filling and we're gonna pop it in the fridge for a few hours until it gets cold. Now that that's in the fridge, we took our pie dough out and now we're gonna roll it out. I'm so excited. You guys wanna use a lot of flour, so put down a lot of flour onto your surface, whatever you're working on. Unwrap this little guy. I feel like it's my birthday or something. Oh my God! <laughs> I got pie crust! Molly, you shouldn't have. And I'm gonna put a little flour on my rolling pan so it won't stick. And here's where you gotta use those muscles. Gotta use those shoulders. We've got our dough rolled out and now we're gonna cut out our circles first. I'm gonna try to get 12 of these, but you can always take the excess pie crust, re-roll it to do it again. And I'm gonna cut out some pie symbols now and then I'm gonna re-roll the scraps to cut out some more. You want just as many pie symbols as circles. We've got all of our circles and pie symbols cut out and now we're gonna put them in the pan. But first we're gonna take a little pastry brush and we're just gonna brush off all of the excess flour. Then you're gonna get your tart tray and you're gonna pick up a circle, place it right in the middle and press it down. Make sure it's touching all of the sides and you can use your fingers to kind of make a little crust edging. Look at that. Then you're gonna do this to the rest of the circles. All right, our pie crusts are ready and now we're gonna get our little pie symbols ready. So over here I have a baking sheet which I've lined with a big piece of parchment paper. Then you're gonna transfer all your little pie symbols to the baking sheet. Just make sure the little swoosh is on the right. Got all of our little pie symbols on the tray and now we are gonna put a little bit of egg wash over each of them. The ratio that I'm using is one egg yolk to two egg whites, a little bit of salt. And again, just using a little baking brush, just get a little bit on there. Then we just paint them. This gives them a nice shiny gold color when they bake. I'm gonna put these to the side and now, ooh, we're gonna fill our pies with the raspberry filling. I got the raspberry pie filling out of the fridge. We're just gonna scoop in a nice big spoonful in there. You don't wanna overfill them, but do fill them to the line. Now our pies are ready to bake. You're gonna heat your oven to 350 and we're gonna bake these both for about 15 to 18 minutes and it's totally fine to bake them at the same time. Our pies are out of the oven. They've had plenty of time to cool. I've popped them out onto a little plate and now we are going to assemble them. This is the fun and easy part. Ready for this little pie symbol? And then we're just gonna place it on the top. Boom, just like that. Now we're gonna do this to the rest of your pies. Da -da! Here are the mini raspberry pie pies that we made today. Look at them, they're so cute. They're perfect for pie day. And we made so many of them that they are the perfect treat to share with friends, family, or classmates. You could bring these to math class. That's what I would do if I was still in school. I'll be taking lots of pictures of these yummy little pies and posting pictures on Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you guys make these or any other pie pie themed treat, please take a picture and send it to me. I love seeing your baking creations. It just makes my day. And if you have any other ideas, videos, and TWs, please let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to make it happen. All right. Thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye and happy pie day. And I will have one for me. Ooh, mmm. You guys, this crust is perfect. This pie crust is just the perfect flaky yumminess, let me tell you. I might have to make another batch for friends because I think these are gonna be for me. That's for me. Mmm.